If you're in Nairobi and looking for a perfectly brewed cup of coffee, Martin Shabaya is your best bet. He's Africa's top barista. With a little bit of basic training, over the past four years, Martin has risen through the ranks and emerged top at the recently concluded Africa Barista Championships. I was given the opportunity and uh, my passion for coffee grew by the day as I was working behind the counter, serving coffees every day. I, I was really impressed with the work, with the craftsmanship, with the artwork and testing the coffees, knowing the flavors because uh, I wasn't so much a fan of having coffee until when I discovered what commodity coffee can be uh, when given the attention that it, is, it deserves. Martin will now be representing Africa at the World Barista Championships in Dublin later this month. During the competition, the baristas will have to prepare and serve 12 coffees in 15 minutes, four espressos, four cappuccinos and four signature drinks for four sensory judges. I think my creativity and also how I connect it with the coffee that I'm using. The coffee I'm using is very special. It has distinct flavors that is, not, that is very rare. So connecting this coffee with my signature drink and also I explain it very well on how they should take it and the glasses that I'm using is very attractive. Pulling a perfect shot of espresso, you need to make sure that the water filter is very clean. And then you, may, you must set this, the, the correct grind of coffee and also the amount of the ground coffee beans in the potter filter in the basket matters a lot. Just gonna tamp it a little to compact the, the ground coffee. And then you flush the group head to remove any remains of maybe burnt coffee. And then you pull your shot. Now this is what we call espresso. It shouldn't be more than 30 ml in about 25 seconds. Yeah. So enjoy. Thank you. Now I'm not much of a coffee drinker, but that is a good espresso. Thank you. Now, which one should I take back? The water. The water is for cleansing the palate right. so that you can enjoy the flavors of the espresso. Okay, cool. Thank yeah. you. Enjoy. Thanks. Although majority of Kenyans would rather have tea over coffee, the interest is growing. That's mostly due to the rise in coffee houses across the country. I tend to go for, you know, kind of creamier milk, milky coffee. So I love lattes, a cappuccino. Um, and then also they've got really different like variants as well. So I kind of like mixing it up, putting different, you know, fusions into it. Um, but this was good. I've actually, I'll admit, I've never had an espresso. So this was really good. Well, whether he wins the big prize in Dublin or not, Martin has big plans to start his own coffee shop and coffee school and train more and more Kenyans on how to present and enjoy one of their country's biggest exports. Maria Galang, CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.